Former Zimbabwe Tourism Authority CEO Karikoga Kasiki dies at 62. The tourism industry mourns the loss of Karikoga Kasiki, the former CEO of the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority ZTA, who passed away at the age of 62. Kasiki, a prominent figure in Zimbabwe's tourism sector, breathed his last this morning at a private hospital in Harare. Kasiki's health had been a concern since he suffered a major stroke in 2018, which ultimately led to his retirement from the ZTA in 2021. Despite his illness, Kasiki's contributions to Zimbabwe's tourism industry were profound and long-lasting. During his tenure as CEO of the ZTA, Kasiki worked tirelessly to promote Zimbabwe as a premier tourist destination, leveraging the country's rich cultural heritage and natural beauty to attract visitors from around the world. His visionary leadership played a pivotal role in advancing the tourism sector, driving economic growth, and creating employment opportunities for many Zimbabweans. Throughout his career, Kasiki was known for his passion for tourism and his unwavering commitment to showcasing Zimbabwe's diverse attractions. Under his guidance, the ZTA launched numerous initiatives aimed at marketing Zimbabwe internationally, including participation in travel fairs, advertising campaigns, and strategic partnerships with tourism stakeholders. Kasiki's dedication to the development of Zimbabwe's tourism industry earned him respect and admiration both locally and internationally. He was widely regarded as a champion for sustainable tourism practices and was instrumental in advocating for policies that aimed to preserve Zimbabwe's natural environment while maximizing its potential as a tourist destination. His passing leaves a void in the tourism sector, and he will be remembered fondly for his immense contributions to promoting Zimbabwe's tourism industry on the global stage. As news of Kasiki's death spreads, tributes pour in from colleagues, industry partners, and government officials, all acknowledging his indelible mark on Zimbabwe's tourism landscape. Funeral arrangements are yet to be announced as the nation mourns the loss of a visionary leader and dedicated advocate for Zimbabwean tourism. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.